y'all it's Pash and welcome back to my channel so for today's dish we are going to be making a lentil loaf don't forget to like comment and subscribe So first things first, we are going to saute half of a red bell pepper, half of an orange bell pepper, and half of a white onion. After those veggies have sauteed for about five minutes or until they're brown, we're gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic. Saute all of this for a few minutes and then set that aside. Now it's time to make our eggs. So to do this, do this, we are going to use flaxseed and water. So I'm using two tablespoons of flaxseed and six tablespoons of water. And that'll equal the equivalent of two eggs. Once you've made your flax egg, you're gonna set that aside and let it thicken. After you make your flax egg, we're gonna move on to the lentils. So normally at this step you would cook the lentils, but I had some that I already cooked beforehand. And what I cooked the lentils in is a bouillon cube in water. I suggest using a vegetable better than bouillon paste. Um, if you do use the cubes, make sure it doesn't have any animal fat in it to make it completely vegan. And you just boil that and follow the instructions on your lentil bag. Now it's time to add seasoning. We're gonna add one tablespoon of complete seasoning. Add half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Add half a tablespoon of onion powder. Then we're gonna sprinkle some Italian seasoning on there. I would say that equates to like a little bit less than half of a tablespoon. Now we're gonna add some texture to our lentil loaf because we're not trying to eat baby food. I crumbled up eight Ritz crackers into the mix. Now I want y'all to get into this flax egg. If you've never used this before, you're welcome. It really does thicken up like the yolk of an egg so it mimics that texture when you're cooking. And we're gonna add that to our mix. Now I know you're looking at this screen crazy but we're gonna add some oatmeal, it's uncooked. And this also just adds texture. This is optional but it adds a good texture to it and a little bit of heart health. Now we're gonna add some ketchup to the mixture. I don't really know an exact measurement or even an estimate. It's all about adding moisture to it. So you can taste it and see if it's moist enough or look at the texture that I have. And next we're gonna add some barbecue sauce and the same thing goes for measurements. You just adding it to get it, you know, moist and not such a dry mixture. 
and you could even taste your mixture the beauty of this is that none of this is raw so you're not using raw eggs or raw meat so it's all edible and you can see if it's moist enough for you after you've added your barbecue sauce go ahead and add your vegetable mixture to your bowl now it's time to get those hands dirty or in my case those gloves because I hate dirty hands when cooking but anyways I digress mix everything up and as you're mixing try to squeeze the lentils to make some of it softer and mushier and leave some whole again it's all about adding that texture So now I'm going to just give y'all a close up of the end result before baking and just look at how it's sticking together because of that flex egg. We got our good nutrients in there and I'm going to add just a little bit more ketchup and barbecue sauce because I decided that I want it to be a little bit more moist and then after that we are ready to bake. Now it's time to add the mixture to your loaf pan. I usually put foil under and then put the loaf on top of the foil. And once you've got all of your mixture in there, you're going to shape it up like a typical meatloaf. For baking we are going to add drizzles of ketchup and barbecue sauce on top and then bake the loaf on 350 degrees for one hour to one hour and 15 minutes. This ketchup was giving me very much struggle life, like all my life I had to fight. Like it literally would not cooperate with my cute little drizzle effect, but you get the picture. So at this point you would have just squeezed some barbecue sauce out, but for some reason we got this huge gallon in my house, so obviously I couldn't do that or we would have drowned the whole loaf. And then you are ready to bake. And here is our final product. Gotta get them angles in my Drake voice. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.